we preview every single match heading into Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. A big update on the status of Wet Knife. And we finally hear from Magic Magdalena, hopefully. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ricky Serbo to welcome back to Wrestle News Weekly. I'm a little bit under the weather today, so apologies for that, but not enough under the weather that would prevent me from talking about Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. It's the latest show, the next show, coming at you from Supercharged Wrestling. It will premiere live, it will stream live on this YouTube channel at 4pm Pacific Central Time, Pacific Standard Time, whichever you'd prefer. And it's going to be happening live on this YouTube channel. So don't forget to hit subscribe. Russell Crusade Reckoning is coming at you. And folks, I know I say this every time, but and I mean it, but this might be our biggest and greatest show yet. Yes, I can't say that every time, but I honestly believe that it just keeps getting better. Supercharged Wrestling shows just keep getting more anticipation, more hype behind them, and this is certainly the biggest card that we've ever seen to date. So, without further ado, let's talk about Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. Now, there are a number of matches that are happening on the card, but one of the most deadly ones is going to be the Pollution Match. That's right, Normal Steve and Karate Chop go head-to-head -head in a Pollution Match, and Mr. Boss made it official. Gunner Jones will be banned from ringside. That's right, no interferences from Normal Steve's partner, Gunner Jones. This match is quite interesting because it's been building up for months. You know, the conflict between Normal Steve, Karate Chop, and Gunner Jones have been intertwined into unusual levels. We last saw them face off in a dungeon match, but now it seems like Karate Chop is, is still trying to fight his way back to Gunner Jones. Who will win on this pollution match? And don't forget the history of the pollution match, if you don't know what that match type means or is. It's going to be a link in the description. We have a whole history video upon it. it it's pretty dark on Twitter, so viewer be warned. Before we went live here today, I got word from Mr. Boss that another match has been added to this already stacked card. It will be Flippy Felipe versus Super Lucha. Conflict began in this match when Flippy Felipe turned on his partner Poe at our last show, the final stand, turning heel in the process, and Super Lucha came to the rescue and tried to fend off the now evil Flippy Felipe. These two are surely going to have a hard fought battle. It's going to be, well, fliptastic, I might say. So, Flippy Felipe vs. Super Lucha has been added to Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. Moving our way down the card, a quite an unusual stipulation is up next. In an arm breaker match, we have Lulu up versus Professor Font. Now, this match arose from a dispute on Twitter, now X, between the two stars, and things just got out of hand very quickly. The two are hopefully going to settle this in an arm breaker match. As you know, Lulu sent her former tag team partner, Lou Boo Boo, sorry, excuse me, Boo Boo, into the hospital a couple months prior where he is said to never wrestle again. So, Professor Fine, I guess, is friends with Boo Boo the Crazy Chicken, and he's going to make sure he wants to set things right. So, good for you, Professor Fart. Now then, in a tag team tables match, we have the Ghostbusters versus the Invisible Boys. The objective of the match is to put both of your opponents each through tables, and that is the only way to win. Now this match is quite interesting because it is going to be the debut match of the Ghostbusters, and of course the Invisible Boys veteran tag team at this point are sort of fighting for their lives. The Ghostbusters a couple weeks ago debuted on this show first in a talking format, and they wanted to understand what the Invisible Boys were really like. And the Invisible Boys did not take kindly to that. They said, hey, we're not so stupid, you know. We know what the Ghostbusters do. We know what they're capable of. They want to trap people kind of like us. So that's the conflict going into this match. And then, of course, we have the Baghead Memorial Gauntlet. Baghead, a seasoned veteran here at Supercharged Wrestling and in wrestling in general, passed away just a few weeks ago. And... The wrestling world is going to come together to put on a gauntlet match in his honor. However, there is a catch. The winner receives a title shot any time in the future for the Ramona KFC Championship. So, good luck to the winners, good luck to the participants, and rest in peace, Baghead. 
And speaking of the Ramona KFC Championship, that is our next match that we have to talk about because Magic Magdalena defends the Ramona KFC Championship in a long-awaited match, rematch, between Derek Dungeon. The two first fought at last year's Wrestle Crusade, and it was just a strange affair of black and dark magic. So, this is sure going to be a doozy. And we've been trying to get Magic Magdalena on the telephone to call her up, or maybe for a little interview these past few weeks, but she has been nowhere to be found. And we've sort of found out that it's been Derek Dungeon who is behind Magic Magdalena's disappearances. So, without further ado, I'm going to welcome Magic Magdalena on one more time. Hopefully she's on the other end. Magic Magdalena, you're on! Hello. I am Magic Magdalena. As you know, I have the KFC Championship. Oh, don't look. I got a little hungry. <laughs> but you may not be able to see my belt very well. But that is because I am deceiving you. We have not had a while to chat. So, I am here to talk to you. I am defending my title. As you all know. This next pay-per-view. Too easy, Derek Dungeon. He has been spooking me lately. But I will face him. Face to face. Watch out, Derek Dungeon. Oh, it worked! She's actually there! Oh, well, Magic Magdalene, it's good to see you there, and I wish you all the best in your title defense at Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. And folks, a match that was supposed to happen at the show, the career match between Wet Knife and Lil Dick, is sadly not happening anymore because I received a text from Mr. Boss that he said... Let me get my phone real quick. <clears throat> from Mr. Boss. Ricky, please say this on the next Wrestle News Weekly. Wet Knife is not cleared to compete. He has a flu, and I've decided not to clear him. Thank you very much. The match is not happening. So, there you have it, folks. The supposed career match between Wet Knife and Lil Dick is, is not happening anymore. A little bit strange. The last time I talked to Wet Knife the other day, he seemed completely fine. Maybe it's just a winter sickness or something like that. Uh, but anyways, I hope the best for Wet Knife, and I'm sure Lil Dick will get her revenge soon enough. Anyways, folks, the last match that we have to talk about is none other than the main event. A 30-minute Iron Man match. And, you know, talking about this match won't do it justice, so here's a little bit of a hype promo VTR. been a little fellow, a little guy, a little lad. It's been irking me. It's been getting on my nerves. It's been a little fellow by the name of Mr. Crazy. Supercharged Wrestling has been around for close to two years now, and there hasn't been one single person who could touch me. So what makes you think, Mr. Crazy, just for one second, that you would have even the slightest chance of pinning me to the ground, of body slamming me to the ground, or doing your little stupid finisher to me to the ground. I am coming for Johnny Champion. He doesn't deserve those titles. He doesn't deserve the EBF title. He's barely even fought any matches. This is what greatness looks like. I'm going to take him down, and I challenge you, Johnny Champion, whenever you're ready. I'm going to use my finisher for the very first time. I've had it locked away in the vaults for a very long time. The world has never seen it before. But come at Wrestle Crusade Reckoning, you're going to be the first one to endure it. And we celebrate Johnny Champion's 365 day title reign as world champion. All right, this right here is the main hall. What is that? Security? What is that? Oh, oh, how did you, how did you get in here? Security! I'm coming for that. I'm coming for both of those. What, are you gonna attack me from behind with that stick? Like you've done before. There's so many other people. This is about the I'm ready for our match. We're gonna have it right here, right now. You think you can beat me? You think you can touch me? Nobody else ever has beaten me, ever! I beat Gunnar Jones in a death match. Uh, what's this? 
You're nobody. Nobody. I've had more matches. Oh, than I'm my nobody. Career. I'm nobody. I've traveled the world. I've beaten everybody. I have all the gold in the world, and I won't stop until I put you in the ground. Johnny Champion, these two titles, I won't stop there. I'll take everything from you. These two titles, they'll be mine. By golly, what a main event match it's going to be. Probably the biggest match, the biggest main event definitely in Supercharged Wrestling history. Two people from opposite sides clashing together for the World Championship, the most coveted prize in Supercharged Wrestling. Hey, there you have it, folks. That's the entire show. Oof, that was a lot. That was a lot. Let's talk about... The Hall of Fame that just happened, you know, it was a very prestigious event. I was in the audience. I had a great, great time. I was sitting next to my good pal, Karate Chop, and we just had a couple of laughs about his grandfather, who was a wrestler as well, and I just had a blast. And, of course, the people that were inducted were Pa, Baghead, and Graham Nottingham, who his brother inducted him for him. Pa had a very interesting speech to say, and I recommend you guys check it out. So if you want to watch the whole Supercharged Wrestling Hall of Fame, and we'll be returning next year for the class of 2024, link is in the description to watch the entire show. All right, folks, to close out the show, we're going to be talking about our wrestler of the week. This week's Wrestler of the Week is none other than Tommy Skull. Though he hasn't had a match yet in Supercharged Wrestling, he is very well known in the wrestling world itself. First competing in AWC Awesome Wrestling Craziness, his first opponent was Baghead. Tommy Skull would have many matches with Baghead and many matches in AWC. He inducted his friend Baghead in this past weekend's Supercharged Wrestling Hall of Fame and he gave a great speech. We are pleased, welcomed, and honored to have Tommy Skull part of the Supercharged Wrestling family, and I'm sure he's going to do great things. He is even entering the Ma Baghead Memorial Gauntlet, so stay tuned for that. And that is why Tommy Skull is our Wrestler of the Week. Folks, just as a reminder, one more time, Wrestle Crusade Reckoning will be streaming live this Friday, 4 p.m., Pacific Standard Time on this YouTube channel. It's going to be quite the event. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media, Supercharged Wrestling on Instagram, and click at, check out bleh, the Supercharged Wrestling website, .weebly.com. So there you go, folks. My name is Ricky Sailboats, and happy Wrestle Crusade Reckoning Week, everybody. Good night!